around. Welcome my friends, grab yourself a drink. It is T1 time we're facing, well it's not T2 anymore, Guangdong Freaks. Uh, yeah, like if we look at that roster, they only have one former T1 player. Uh, yeah, where did they all go? Where did they all go? Anyway, we aren't going anywhere. We are going straight into playoffs. We're going to show up. We're going to play some good Leisure Legends and uh, then we are going to win and we don't have to worry and we're all just going to be uh, merry, happy and whatever else that you can say uh, positively. Um, Kas, hello, friendly fire. Yeah, Nidalee is doing quite well so far, um, overall. Um, yeah, AD carry and carry meta, you see less and less of tanks. I think Rel, for example, is like a notable exception. Um, that's like doing quite well. Oh! <laughs> Yo, owner the hero! Yo, a faker reaction? Okay. Just like, okay, do this, do that. It's like mind controlling them. Uh, it looks like they're also like fun. I, yeah, unfair, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, by the way, it looks like Faker is also fine. Um, I kind of missed it. I I heard he had COVID. It's like I don't know. I need to be more active on social media to follow these kinds of things. Uh, but uh, regardless, next gank, Nidalee Renekton. Feels like we are like back in like I don't know 2018 or something like that. Where that shit was like all the 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 th stuff. Damn man, they're getting raw docked here. Next W, not needed. Q W now. Okay. Two v two kill. Right, the Nar Sejuani are beating <laughs> the Renekton Italy. You wouldn't believe it, but T one makes it possible. Uh, yeah, obviously the gold lead is going to go further ham. Yeah, I also need to look at. Uh, What's her name again? Aurora. I need to look at her kid a bit more. It feels like for me, like she's never doing damage. Sometimes her ult just one shots three or four people. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just don't see her often uh, in my games as well. So it's like, I don't know. Regardless, Faker with uh, the Yon again, third game in a row. Um, picked up two wins recently against Bro, of course. It's just Bro. KDF quite the better team and uh, yeah, hey, if he's happy with it, if he feels uh, great with it, having some agency, we're all for it, right? We just want to have like a smooth ride, focus on playoffs or getting into playoffs. It's nearly 100% confirmed, uh, but focus on getting into playoffs, then have an okay showing at playoffs, get to Worlds and uh, then, then we can talk about like playing some good League of Legends, right? Um, don't don't stress like we as t1 we are not like i don't know random team one two three like sure it would be great to uh, like oh stop gen g and their power and their streak of winning lck's and so on and so on uh, but that's not what we are too concerned with we already have a bunch of lck titles that's it's like that's not really our level anymore not because it's so easy but uh it's just not something that i think matters all too much in the grand scheme of things Especially in comparison to Worlds. Faker goes in, flash ult, doesn't hit anything, dies immediately. Ay 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 ay. Anyway, let's uh... Ay ay ay. Lemon, quite sour. Regardless, uh, we get mid to it. They don't even go for Drake immediately. But uh, yeah, Faker still dead, has no TP anyway, so there would be no point to contest that at this point. Guma here goes through the illegal corridor. Luckily, it looks like we are going to survive, but uh, yeah. This area, it's all it's always the same. It's like, they even limited the amount of corridors that you have there in mid lane, right? Uh, due to the map changes, right? Now you only have two pathways into mid lane like this um, and people are still getting caught again and again and again and again it's just such a death trap next to it obviously is the ruler spot right uh, yeah well whatever we're contesting for soul it's not the most important one but it is a soul anyway okay carriers combo kinda kinda missed kinda fucked up faker here on the side but yeah it's also not too impressive 
like fo solely focusing on to do let's see can he do something against leaper no he can't where the fuck is guma even he's all the way over there baker's going to fold i yeah this game number one looks uh kind of fucked no i mean we're even in gold for now but they're going to go at baron uh soul for this comp is just so nasty right they're already so mobile but yeah Okay, let's see. What's Baron HP? 50%, okay. Man, this is annoying. Okay, everything is on owner. They don't have any way to stop him, really. Well, I guess Andal could stop him. Okay, oh, bullet time goes in. And he steals the Baron. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> does, does not have Baron? Does not have Baron? Wait, what's this? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? What is Zeus doing there? He TP'd there, but... Uh, well, whatever. That's just... Uh, oh my, oh my, man. Ezreal is cooking, man. I'm obviously still of the opinion that Misfortune is the strongest AD carry right now, but... Uh, I think... It's, uh, it's close afterwards, right? With Ezreal, Zaya, Kaisa. Uh, the next row of AD carries, or like bot lane AD carries, right? It's uh, something else, right? We still have uh, well, AP auto attack based champion, uh, right? Aurora, and uh, then obviously Smolder mid lane, Lucian mid lane, Zeri mid lane, and all these champions kind of can go into top lane as well. So, uh, yeah. That's a bit of a difference between uh, AD carries and lanes uh, in my statement there, but what the hell? Owner, man. Are we are we are we that anxious? Anxious? Ay ay ay. Like we're scaling fine, no? Oh what is that? Pew 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 pew. Okay, that's the Nidalee, but that's just the Nidalee. Faker again dead before he can unbind his soul. Boomer gets flashed on, he gets one. Can he get Bulldog? Or is Bulldog too strong? Who knows, man? They have to run anyway. Okay, that's one. Guma's too fast, there's no way he can get them. What? What? How did he get him? How does a Renekton chase a... Uh, or oh, I guess Flash E? Ah, uh, bleed. Ah! What is going on, man? We had such a good start with the top lay in 2v2. Faker was like chilling in farm. I don't know, bot lane looked even to me for most part. I didn't pay too much attention to BH. But it's like, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Still see you. Okay, I mean, he's buying some time, right? They have Baron and Elder. So uh, any like time that he's wasting is highly uh, appreciated. And yeah. Have I ever mentioned that Elder Dragon is fucking cringe? What's, what's Ona doing here? Who knows, man? Okay, I mean, Guma and Faker are doing some good work there, but... Uh, please no, please no, please no, please no. Okay, good for us, good for us. Right, this means that they can only push top lane. And if they can't end on this, then our base is relatively safe. Relatively. But uh, it looks like they just, yeah, they just right click us and that's it. Ah, yeah. So yeah, fuck up. Uh, in this game, certainly. Yeah, I have I have no fucking clue, man. How how that game like got so out of hands. Uh, it's like I mean, you look at our comp, right? We have such a wombo combo team fight potential, but it's just never happened. It just never happened. They were too slippery all the time, especially now, like later on with the uh, what is it? Not ocean. What is it? Wind cloud soul, right? Then it's like we landed no skill shots on them whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Coordination was not there. It looked so silly. Okay. Hey, where is my brother? Man, they murdered him, man. They murdered him so much. These fucking Riot Games adjustments that they're doing in these last couple of patches. They call it adjustment, but they're just nerfing these champions. Ooh, I give you, I don't know, a 5% slow on... Uh, on I don't know Senna's Q or something, but 
I, I half your attack speed and uh, half your, and take 160% scaling of your Q heal. It's like, then they call it adjustment. It's just straight up bullshit. Anyway, let's see this. Please don't steal the dragon. Okay, this time we get it. Owner also gets away. Let's see the extended play here. It uh, looks a bit rough, but when Faker can come in here, maybe it's not too bad. Well, I said it's maybe not too bad. It's very fucking bad. We give over two kills for one. But, yeah. I mean, hey. It's just so silly, man. They they claim, oh, yeah, we want Varus to be, like, uh, playable in both styles. But they just nerf the uh, attack speed version for no reason. And, uh, yeah, well, whatever. I don't remember. Didn't they nerf the Q as well? That's just so fucking bullshit. But, yeah, look at this, man. Bot lane is so fucked. Top lane at least 10 CS ahead, but... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think we need to take another sip here. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, top lane, yeah, woo, -woo, -woo. Let's go. Oh, come on, don't get the cannon minion and we also get killed. Oh, come on. Ay, ay, ay. And all our friends are arriving in top lane, but just a bit too late. Always like the like the local train. Can we get the Xante? Probably not, yeah. Mm. Ignite is not enough, never. Yep. Because Varus does no damage anymore. Oh man, Quagnum freaks, man. They should play lottery today, man. Everything they try to do just works out well. Uh, going for the Cassante. Okay, at least that works. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay. Nautilus picks up a kill, but at least we get something. Diving a Cassante. Come on. Look at Barrow's items. Who's going to deal damage? Oh, wait. Actually, full magic resist Cassante. Maybe we can actually do damage against him. Yeah. That uh, is such a silly idea. Okay, let's see. Big fight coming up here in the top lane. Let's see, let's see who's getting what. Okay, not bad, not bad. Where's the follow-up? Q. Like, still. Deeper, not dead. Took him way too long. But anyway, we are going to win this fight. Supreme hook by Carrier. And then it was a bit rough, but the follow-up was good enough, I guess. Okay, slight gold lead. <sighs> getting a bit of confidence. Zeus here. Um... Um, hmm. Like, I th I mean, I think if he just holds the equalizer, like, till Cass pounces on him, then I think he can do a bit more damage, or buy more time at least. But regardless, like, what am I? Who am I? What do I know? Bro, you're standing. Okay, circle comes to the roof. Faker scoops up the trash to some extent. Endel gets a good old Faker has to flash away. Deeper can channel full old has to run away, man. That equalizer is doing work. Sadly, that Q doesn't connect, but let's see. Can we dive these two motherfuckers under the turret? Uh, come on, hey. Cancel the recalls, maybe? Yeah, like we're getting the dragon anyway, but... Uh, yeah, Dudu just goes in, wants to die. Hello, help more. Okay. And bam, that's one. Ah, man, it's okay. Great, great, great. Who takes turret? Okay, it's Zeus. Unfortunate, but uh, it works out well. We get the dragon, we get... It feels like five kills. Do we ace them? I think we did. That's very nice. So, good for the confidence, good for the game. Arrow charge in mid lane. Not enough, but it's it's all right, right? Mid lane turret here against Aurora. Doesn't really matter, but Misfortune likes that. So, we take it, we take it. Regardless, they're trying to look for a play onto Zeus here. And uh, yeah, can you get the ult through? That's at least something. Guma also dead. Oh, great. Just wonderful. Two of our carries immediately one shot out of nowhere. Ay, 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 man. They just pick up up. 
pick us up with with these champions, man. It's not even a pick on, but we're just so out of position. Ay, 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 it's just so fucking wild. And we need our mid lane turret. We need it. Oh, man. Okay, next dragon. Please, T1, get your shit together, okay? Owner goes in. Bulldog presses a button. Shove buttons, but okay. Ult's used. Can we get that guy? Ult is alright. So, yeah, okay. Q connects halfway. Zeus, you on the side. Oh my, oh my. Getting some damage done. We secure the dragon, so that's at least a few steps towards soul. Okay, we should be able to get Bulldog. Um, that's that's the wrong one, Carrier. Hello, watch out. Man, we are just a bit greedy, no? Okay. With Guma's sacrifice, we end up getting all of them. Okay, so I guess it's okay. But that could have been... Uh, like, against a different team, that could have been way too much. But okay. We take it, we take it. 7k lead, soul point and everything. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. Faker goes in. Doesn't have Zonias. Uh, okay, owner man. Like, he's feeling himself with the 404 scoreline, man. Arrow 404. Like, no AD carry, no enemies found. Owner just punches them all to death. Very nice, man. Okay. I just, I just don't want to talk about this game anymore, man. Like, what the fuck? It's like Faker and Guma just going in. Just a haha, we die. Oh, 10? Not 10,000. 1,000 kills. Very nice. Six for junglers. Let's see where this goes for him, career wise. Peanut, obviously, number one. Yeah, makes sense. Peanut's so underrated as a jungler. And okay, Chains of Corruption and Guma is... Oh, he doesn't die, but almost dead anyway. No, we need this owner guy. Faker goes in flash. Guma is doing some things on the side. That's all right. And yeah, I mean, at this point, the gold lead is also just a tiny bit too much. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, at least we can tap our shoulders a bit. Decently well done, decently well done. But this Aurora champion can become quite problematic and I continue to see her value. I continue to see her value, man. The ability to just walk into the enemy team and just nearly one shot the AD carry is a bit uh, wild. Imagine if that uh, bunny had, what is it called? Zonias or something? But anyway, okay, 1-1. One, one. It's not going to be a 2-0, but let's get that 2-1, right? Right? T1 to game number three against the Quantum Freaks. Because his win streak unfortunately comes to an end, this guy... Okay, uh, yeah. What can we say? Tons of damage. I mean, this is the great thing about T1, right? You have like five carry players. Even if Zeus... I mean, he did a lot of damage, but you know the scoreline, right? Faker and uh, what's his name? Guma. Having some positional air issues here and there. At least then we have owner to pick up the batonch, right? Literally. And uh, yeah, this composition should have taken a look at it. I think I saw a Nar. We take that. Nar, a Yordle, but it's not Cannon, so uh, a lot better. Actually, that's the wrong side. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Don't love everything, but I take the bot lane. So uh, yeah, as long as we see Caitlyn, you already know T1 is cooking. Um, yeah. He only suffered one defeat. And I think this was, was it this year at MSI or was it last year's at MSI? Something like that. He lost while uh, T1 was at MSI, which obviously means in recent years, oh, we're actually uh, not doing well because, well, we still have not won MSI in uh, <coughs> seven years or so. <clears throat> Regardless, uh, turret plates are being farmed and I don't know what Leaper and Andal are doing. Like, do they think they can lane here? It's like, what? What? Like, look at your inventory. You picked up fucking five uh, cooldown reduction ability haste and a fucking tier. Like, you're not doing shit. 
Okay, now that was a bit too much. Bulldog rotated a bit over, but not re really relevant. Who's DPing? It has to be Zeus, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's see where this is going. Bot lane, I mean, the CS lead could be uh, quite a bit bigger, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Okay. See owner again in the bot lane. No TP Bulldog, Cus is at the Grubbers. So, let's see. Not much of this poke is really landing, like last two Qs from Goomer went into uh, the wild. Okay, the Kuni, interesting, nicely chunked, and uh, the TP comes through, Goomer is tanking the turret, owner, uh, interesting, decent Nar, he doesn't have flash anymore, and now they have to run through traps and through, uh, what is his name again, ah Shiba! It, it works out okay. I don't know, man, if Carrier should have flashed that or not. Like, he would have died, but couldn't Uma have gotten, like, all the kills in the world? Oh, man, so beautiful. Uma's Caitlyn is just such a treat. Ah, oh, man, it's so great. It also helps with, like, T1's game plan, right? It's like, okay. We don't need to be worried, it's like, oh, what do we do, when do we do what? No, okay, we just play through Guma, get all the turret plates in the world, rotate him there, and uh, yeah, just uh, get a free early game lead, right? Could be a bit bigger, but uh, yeah, Dudu picking up two kills certainly helps uh, this uh, fucking rat. Aye, aye, aye. But actually, 15 play, uh, 15 minutes. Like, where's Guma's plates? Okay, interesting. Let's see. Can Zeus do anything here? Really, he ha still has flash, and yeah, gets away. Pretty nice. So it seems Guma was rotated into mid lane instead. Not sure how many plates he picked up there. Hopefully, a good amount. Right, looking at his inventory, he certainly ate decently well. But I don't know, man. This mid, play, uh, mid game here, it's a bit weird, right? That we only are 2,000 gold ahead. Okay, can can someone help this owner guy? I mean, at least Carrier is doing something. Ah, yeah, yeah. So many weird things going on, but uh, let's just pick up a dragon and hopefully be all right. It's like, how are we only 2,000 gold ahead? It's like, what went uh, what went on in these minutes that this highlight didn't show us? Phew. I mean, there's no way they can fight here. Sure, Dudu has Mega Nar, but it's running out any moment now. And, uh, yeah. And now they have Mini Nar, which obviously is also quite scary. There is a fucking Rift Herald. I mean, impressive, but... Well, whatever. They take up the mid lane turret and also got the bot lane turret right earlier and at the like beginning of the standoff so yeah like they're actually like even in turrets with us at 23 minutes here we have just a bit of cuts here okay faker gets bulldogs old that's great he has tp so he will just rejoin the fight but oh shit that was guma's flash just there picking up no man this nidalee Ah, uh, Kaz, can you just leave us something? No. Okay. Interesting things going on here and there. Faker and Izonia's timing on the other side. Good secure by Kaz, I guess. Ah! Okay. Are we going for Baron at 25 minutes? Well, our Caitlyn has two and a half items, so maybe we can. Not sure what the owner's state is, but uh, we'll just go for it, right? Let's just hope that there's no Mega Nar coming into our face. Okay. Let's see, Zeus is going to be the sacrificial Zeus. We should be all able to go over the wall here. Who flashed? Why did Carrier flash? Didn't he... No W? Well, whatever. One sacrifice, one flash given over for Baron at 25 minutes. I think we'll take that. I think we'll take that. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm a bit concerned, right? What is going on here? 
why is our uh, how would you call it like snowballing not as great right it's like we have a, a Caitlyn that just ate so well in the early game and uh, it seems to we weren't able to rotate her around the map effectively I guess we still have three drakes but uh these weren't easy pickups right we had to like play the uh, positional game quite a bit okay and oh uh, hi uh, getting chunked quite a bit Dudu also has to jump over uh, Meganar is building up, so he's not in hyper or anything like that. No, it's not hyper. What is it? Uh, he's exhausted or something, right? Oh, hook on to Zeus. He gets away for now. Dudu fails to wall jump. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Faker shifting stuff. Or shifting the air. Carrier, nice block. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, any more picks, please? Please? Okay, cuss. One? Yeah, he's also jumping away. But oh, that's the wrong side of the map, no? There's, let's see the damage of this champion. What? Yeah. Man, this. I mean, I guess Zeus is O2, but so was Nidalee. I don't know man, this Aurora champion is like Schrödinger's good. Like either it's like really good or it's like what does what does it even do? Man. Ah oh, man, Caitlyn damage is just so lovely. Okay. Next Baron, right? We have the Mountain Soul. Not so great for our comp, right? Only carrier and potentially owner at some point will benefit from it greatly. But we'll we'll take it, we'll take it. The shield is decent against the poke, I guess. Tier. That was like a 40% ult. Okay, nice. Ay, ay, ay. 10,000 plus the lead. And I think we can lay back and relax. <sighs> oh, are they going to look for a play here or? Ah, collector. <laughs> Baker going all over the world. Anyway, we have a fight here on the side. Um. I don't know if fight is the correct word though. Maybe it's slaughter, massacre. Regardless, we're picking up the win. 2-1, not what we wanted, but good enough, good enough. Rest in peace, cuz. And uh, yeah, T1, I think with this, are we locked in into playoffs? I think we have to hope so, right? 10 and seven, that's, uh, that's okay. We have one more game against Fox. Hope you take care and hope we see each other then. Bye bye.